Hey, this is Mike. Just want to show you this 2015 Ram 2500 Laramie. Now, this is a custom order truck. It does have a cover on the back of the bed, but it does have a lot of features, and it's a 2015 model, and it's one of our first uh, in this level of quality and uh, trim level. So, just wanted to show you what I see here. It's got the projector headlights here on the front, the chrome grille, the hook, tow hooks there in the front. Really sharp looking grill. It's got the fog lights there. Now this one does have the uh, Cummins turbo diesel 6.7 liter and a 6 speed transmission. Has 18 inch aluminum wheels. The side steps were added to this vehicle. It has the chrome rear view mirrors and they also they are the tow mirrors so they flip up like that manually. Now it does have a, a power fold away option uh, where it has it on this truck to where you push a button it folds them in which I'll show you in a few minutes. So let me go ahead and start it up. It does have remote start. And it has the proximity key, so I have the key in my pocket. And I can just touch the handle here like that and it unlocks the doors. You don't actually have to take the key out of your pocket to use this vehicle. Here's the inside of the passenger door. We've got a brown and tan theme there with uh, some wood grain, real wood wood grain. You got little like shelf pockets everywhere. You have the power seat on the passenger side. Got heated and cooled perforated leather seats. It's got the Laramie badge right there. There's the window sticker. Feel free to use the pause button. But over here we've got the glove compartment, another glove compartment up here, got a AC adapter power supply on this side, got a nice pocket there that you can put a full size file folder. Now here's the back door, this is a crew cab truck so you have a really good size back door and there's the you see it has the same level of quality and features as the front and the back you know with the stitching and just overall looks and feel and the back seats are heated and they do have the same perforated leather seats and the heated controls are right here there's your pocket in the back of the front seat now this seat, I'm going to go ahead and show you before I do that, has the armrest with cup holders. It does have the latch system for child seats. But uh, when you lift the seat up, you have this fold flat feature to where it can fold out. Let me do that number. Fold out flat and that way you can put stuff, use this for cargo space. And I wonder if they make a cargo mat for that, I'm not sure something to check on. Now this lifts up and this is where you'll find your subwoofer for the Alpine premium sound system as well as the uh, the amplifier. Now on the trucks that don't have the premium sound this will be a storage compartment. And speaking of storage on both sides we have a little storage compartment here with a liner that comes out. Pretty good size. You have some cup holders here in the center, which are, you know, accessible with the seat down, of course. You got some hooks there, interior light. You have the speakers in the ceiling. And you notice the ceiling is not really flat. It's just kind of contoured uh, to kind of give you some extra headroom for 
for different passengers. Now this one has the backup sensors back here, towing package, has both the, both the plugs there. Let's see what it looks like under there. It's got the Laramie badge, big ram head, got the 4x4 four, four four badge there. Now right now, this cover is locked, so I'm going to have to use a key to unlock it. Oh, well, I went the wrong way. There we go. This slides up like that, and this lifts up. And then once you get that up, then you can lower the tailgate. The tailgate, you cannot lower with that down. This one has a spray and bed liner. So you can see it comes from the factory like that. The cover is not factory. That's something that was added. Go ahead and close that. Backup camera is right here. Now this one does have the capless fuel design for the diesel. This is, comes from the factory, you don't really need that. But you can add your diesel fuel here uh, without a cap. It does have a seal around here, and this is a two-part system there. There's where you add your DEF fluid. Alright, here's the back again. And it does. this truck came with a like a first aid type kit with a fire extinguisher it's sealed up but um for the customer but it does have like an emergency kit there and on this side you can see it does have storage space now this is your adapter for your uh your hitch there for smaller size um you know for the regular size i forget the size but for different hitches now you do have the storage underneath the floor here All right, here's the inside of the driver's door. You've got your pockets there and there. Now right here, you got your door lock controls, window controls, side mirror controls, and then there's where your power fold away button is. You can, they fold in and out both sides. And there's your power seat, and it does have presets here as well as lumbar support. So I'm gonna go ahead and get in. It does have automatic headlights. Since I used a remote start, I still have to push the button to turn everything on here on the inside. Here's the steering wheel. It's a leather wrap steering wheel, very comfortable. It has lots of buttons on the front and back. On the right side is your cruise control. On the back is your volume. Back here. And turn the volume up. On the left side of the steering wheel, I can change to the stations on the very back. Turn the volume back now. And right here is your Bluetooth phone button to where once you pair your phone with the system, you can answer the phone answer the phone or make calls right here by pushing that button. It does have a voice recognition button or you can push that button and it gives you certain or certain commands you can say to uh, say go to a certain point on a map on your navigation or you can tune to a certain station, things like that. These arrow buttons correspond with this menu system which is here and I'm just gonna kinda scroll through Let's see here. Right now we're in the fuel economy section. I'm going to scroll down. And this is your trip A and B. 
There's your trailer information for your gain. You can adjust it. This is the audio. Stored messages, messages will be there. Uh, you can do a screen setup which will adjust the things on the far corners. It's kind of a little bit of a glare right now, but hopefully you can see on the top right left corner, it says northwest, range, the corners, you can adjust the, that information to where you always have that information for you. Commercial settings, um, not familiar with that, but it's a pin setup. I'm not really sure what that does. If you know what it is, let me know in the comments and I appreciate it. Speed is right there. That's pretty much self-explanatory. There's your vehicle info uh, page. Right, it starts off with your tire pressure. But I've a push to the right. I can go in and find different uh, pressures and temperatures, stuff like that. I'm going to scroll down again, and now we're back into fuel economy. You can see the rest of the gauges there. Alright, you've got some nice stitching here on the, the dash. Really nice truck. Your shifter here is here, and you can adjust the, you can downshift or upshift here on the shifter. I'm going to go ahead and put it in reverse, so you can see the parking sensor comes on in the middle there also your backup camera is here now as I turn the steering wheel I'm turning it now you can see those lines are moving because those give you an estimated trajectory of the vehicle while you're backing up and you can see it's a wide angle view all the way from the bumper all the way to the sky and side to side and that way you get a really good um, image of what's behind the truck definitely makes backing up to a trailer a lot easier so now I put it back in park and you can see we've gone back to the normal screen here which is the the radio your icons on the screen this is a Uconnect system 8.4 AN and it has all your icons here at the bottom and you start off with radio and it does have satellite radio stuff like that you can adjust the audio here speed adjusted volume, surround sound, equalizer, stuff like that. Media. Now this is where you can, you can, this vehicle has a CD player, but also it has a USB auxiliary input um, and a uh, Bluetooth. You can play songs through a Bluetooth device like your phone and an SD card input. And I'll show you those in a second. Actually, I'll go ahead and show you now. They're in the center console. Right here is your USB auxiliary and SD card input, as well as a USD charger there. But back to the screen. We have a, this is the controls. This is where you see your heated and ventilated seats and your heated steering wheel controls for both driver and passenger. Um, you can also go into settings and adjust a whole bunch of stuff in here. controls climate this is your your climate control your temperature where you want the air to blow stuff like that you also have some redundant buttons down here for that but there there's some up here as well you can adjust the fan speed navigation now this is where you know you can just view the map and see where you're at and has a neat little car icon I guess you can change it to a truck maybe but um but also you can go Put in an exact address, stuff like that. You can, um, it'll take you home once you put your address in there, stuff like that. So it's a really cool system. It, it helps out a lot, especially if you're in places you're not familiar with, and you just kind of want to get there and you don't have to worry about, you know, dragging out maps and all that stuff. Uh, here's your phone. Once your phone is paired, uh, you'll have your phone book, recent calls, stuff like that. There at the very top, you'll have pre, um, like favorites, I guess you can say, like presets for a radio station. And um, you can also, on this system, you can transfer back to your cell phone. Like if you want to have a private call, somebody calls and you just you know, don't want anybody in, in the vehicle listening to what you're saying, you hit transfer 
and it'll transfer it back to your your cell phone you uh, connect apps this is pretty cool um, one of the things I want to mention where it says via mobile that's actually using your data from your cell phones so you want to be aware of that but one of the cool things in these apps is um, travel link like if you're in a place where you're not familiar with you can find out where the nearest gas fuel station is you can also sort it by price but I notice this right here is for gas so let's change that fuel type to diesel so now we can find out the nearest gas station that has diesel and the price and the distance we can sort it by distance sort it by price sort it by brand and let's say we find a place here like this it tells us it tells us exactly where it is we can call them here we can also hit go now and it'll take us to that location and so if you're driving around in a place you're not familiar with and you kind of need some gas and maybe you're out in the middle of nowhere you can push on that and find your nearest or cheapest gas station and you got movie listings uh, weather a bunch of cool stuff like that but those are the main features there on the screen now down here you have another volume button besides the volume on the steering wheel you also have the volume here and you can tune through the stations if you want to turn the screen off you can always do that if it's distracting you and uh, you know, like I said there's your climate control buttons there here's your four-wheel drive control there's your trailer brake control this one does have exhaust brakes which is that control there this one here and uh, tow and haul button your parking sensors you can turn that turn those off if you want you can turn off your stability control you do have some auxiliary switches here in case you want to add devices add things to this truck like a snow plow or whatever <clears throat> or different lights you get to have a pocket here looks like a place to put business cards there nice big storage pocket power supply cup holders nice place to put pens there and this is your armrest and it's you know also opens up like I showed you before and you have your connectivity to your radio there put a nice tablet in there charge it maybe your cell phone it has little places for wires to go in and out of this compartment there and there now this whole thing lifts up and this is where you'll find your CD player I know you're wondering where it was but there it is here's the cup the the big storage compartment here and there is a little place for wires to exit this area as well you have auto dim rearview mirror and uh, you do have assistant but assistance button and also 911 911 button there garage door openers are here and uh, this little thing is a infrared sensor for your climate control it sees what temperature the vehicle is this is your sliding back glass you can open up the back glass if you wanted to tap lights visors have mirrors and lights and the same thing on that side all right let's take a look underneath the hood Six point seven liter Cummins turbo diesel. Heavy duty. Now this one has two batteries. You can see they do have an insulation around the batteries to keep them uh, help them last longer. Cold temperatures are not good for batteries. Uh, that's why you see a lot of them fail in the winter time. Everything in yellow is a something you can check on your own. Anyway, if you have any questions, um, or if I missed anything, or if I made a mistake, or if you have anything to add or anything like that, just leave it in the comments, and I'll see you next time.